Welcome to Mazzano for round three of W Series. We're on the east coast of Italy in the Rimini region. And whilst the circuit is perhaps more well known for hosting MotoGP races, DTM have been coming here since 2018. But this weekend, W Series are taking to the track. Now, the circuit itself is actually known or has been named after the late Italian MotoGP rider Marco Simoncelli, great mates with Valentino Rossi, who happens to be a local lad if you care to know from a small town in Tavulia uh, but as I should have mentioned at the start we have had as you would expect here in Mazzano gorgeous weather this weekend something we haven't seen in this year's um, season we've had obviously intermittent weather in the first two previous rounds but we have had extremely hot track temperatures out there and I think it probably would be a great idea to have a word with our um, first driver um, just to let you know where we are right now we are at the W Series HQ this is where the drivers get to hang out and chill between their sessions and also eat lunch and we've got Vicky Piria just behind us having a bit of a chat to her family and friends obviously an important race for her this weekend we should speak to her a little bit later on uh, but let's have a word with Bites Gavissa because as we know, Bites Gavissa is our most recent race winner and was doing extremely well this afternoon, but unfortunately, a premature end to your session. What happened? Um, yeah, so we were running well in FP2 um, and then came into the pits and lots of smoke came. Um, seemed to be an electronic issue, so mechanics are working hard now to fix it for tomorrow. But before that happened, you were in the number one spot. You must be feeling pretty confident ahead of qualifying. Yeah, FP1 we were leading, um, FP2 we were leading until the issue, so um, I'm feeling pretty confident for tomorrow, but it's all very close. Um, yeah, within a few tens are, are a few drivers, so um, I really have to put a good lap together tomorrow. Obviously a win for you tomorrow would really change the face of this championship, but with the, the session delay we had, unfortunately we had um, a session delay with FB2 because um, the, the sleeping policemen that are on some of the, the curbs came loose after the DTM session, which meant, unfortunately for you guys, a lot of waiting around in pit lane, but it also meant that this temperature that we've experienced, especially in the early part of the day, it had cooled down a lot by the time you guys were able to get out there. Um, yeah, and especially during the session, it started to be a bit cloudy, so it cooled down more. Um, but tomorrow our race is at four o'clock, so probably the hottest of the, uh, hottest of the day. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a bit different. OK, good luck. Well, we've heard from Bytesker. Let's go and hear from some of the other drivers. Jamie, before we start talking about this weekend, there was a bit of news on the build-up to this race and that you have joined Williams as a development driver. So, firstly, congratulations. And just tell us a bit more about that role. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, it's something that's been sort of in the word work for the past few months now. And yeah, to finally get the news out there uh, and in the open is really exciting. And yeah, it means that I'm going to be joining as a development driver. So sort of immersing myself in the team for my first step as to being involved with a Formula One team, some simulator work. So yeah, something I'm really excited about. And how was FB2? Because I heard you speaking on the radio just before we were heading out and originally you wanted to do a slightly longer run than what we would see normally because we know the, these free practice sessions, they're, they're quite short and you've only got two of them. You don't really have that much of an opportunity to do like a, a race simulation as such. Yeah, exactly. And normally it wouldn't be so significant, but because the temperatures here are so hot and the track's actually quite abrasive, I was quite keen to sort of learn what the tyre was going to do over a longer run and just to see how it behaved. And, yeah, obviously the temperature kind of dropped at the end of there, so it wasn't quite so um, representative, but I think it was useful to kind of learn that and on the old tyres to see where we're at. This will be really the first race where we see the tyre and what kind of strategy that will mean for tomorrow come into play. What at this point, what are you expecting? Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, um, then quite a few people put new tyres on um, ahead of qualifying tomorrow, so we didn't. So it'd be interesting to see how that mixes the order maybe in qualifying. Obviously, Bytesker had a bit of an issue then, so I think it really is going to be a bit of a jumble grid <laughs> by the time we get qualifying underway and how we also do it, whether we want to go new for quali, new for race or two in quali. So, yeah, we'll see. I think it's exciting when there's a bit more freedom as to what we can do. Vicky, so an important weekend for you. It's your home race in Mazzano. And for the next thing, it started off really well. Wow. Yeah, well, I did free practice one and I was seventh, but it was really, really close. So seventh could have been easy, a P3 in terms of ideal lap time. And now I finished fourth, but um, 
I wouldn't say it's it's all settled because it's really tight. It's really easy to make mistakes here because we we're already kind of on the limit. And um, and yeah, so I'm not like relaxing too much, but for sure I'm happy. It's a good way to start it, and tomorrow is going to be, you know, really important to get a good start in the in the qualifying. Like I wish, I really hope to get in top five, six at least in quali, and which I can do if I put my head to it, which is not ever, it's never that easy. And then race is going to be really difficult and hectic, but you know, it started off well, it's a good thing. And it's a good feeling, you know, finishing the day P4, P7, so I'm happy. Talk me through what we're expecting here as a race, because I think what we haven't seen in the first two rounds is this c consistent sunshine. We've had extremely hot track temperatures today. Uh, obviously, with the delay in FP2, actually, when you did go out for the session, it was slightly cooler than what we'll perhaps see tomorrow for the race. What are you expecting? Well, the thing is, the track changes a lot uh, between free practice one and two, because free practice one, the track's completely green. We go in free practice too, and there's a lot of the DM just left a lot of rubber on the ground, and it changes really the way the car behaves. So it's we, what I try to do in free practice too is try to think race, and I did like a long run, and I did the adjustment I wanted to do for the race, which looks like it's in the right direction. But um, it's going to be tough. The fact that um, we're all so close also is it's difficult because you just make a little mistake in the race, you lose power on the main straight. And this car isn't really forgiving, you know, so you really have to be consistent and nail it corner by corner. And it's going to be a hectic race. I'm sure it's going to be a hectic race. So, Mickey, you actually topped FP2 today, but what people might not know is that you had an issue this morning and only got out for seven laps. Obviously, the issue has been, has been solved. And the other aspect is that qualifying for you has been a bit of an Achilles heel. So have you found something today? Uh, um, I was a free practice one. I I just drive the uh, seven laps. So I had a new tire, free practice too. That's why I was faster. <laughs> That's the reason. So still I nervous. You're still nervous yeah. for qualifying. Yes, <laughs> because uh, every time I'm good the free practice, but. Every time the problem, problem is qualified, so yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about the qualify. So we've heard from Vicky, Mickey and Jamie. Try saying that after a long day, but I'm taking you now to somewhere you perhaps haven't seen before. We are inside the locker rooms and luckily for us, nobody, um, well, we've still got one driver left, Goshia. Um, Goshia, talk us through how FP2 was for you. FP2 was yeah, yeah, quite okay. I improved in comparison to FP1. Like the whole pack is quite tight and quite close. So the time was it not big, but it's yeah, not good enough to be in top 10. So I ended up uh, P13, struggling a bit with uh, braking. I was moving my brake balance all the time to the front. And I think yeah, last two laps were, were okay that I was satisfied. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. I'm curious how the new tire will behave. And yeah, a few corners are still like in doubt if to do it flat or not. So I think new tire will solve that problem. And I'm sure you would have had a little look where they have taken up those sleeping policemen. Does it mean that you can you can use more of the curbs or? Yeah, definitely you do. Definitely when you see, yeah, don't board of bicycle or as uh, what we were doing at the simulator here on Mizano, the the track limits are a bit, you know, like. Hmm. There are sort of no track limits if uh, we're talking about the insides of the corners. Only turn eight, it's uh, all the time under investigation. I had that pleasure to be already at the first practice at the at the race director, but it was just, yeah, I won, went uh, one time off, but yeah, he called me up to just say that it's not allowed. So everyone else is a part of uh, turn eight, so it's quite interesting. Listen, you go out and get some fresh air because it is actually yeah. pretty warm in here. I just had a shower, so also better, yeah, I, I go out. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a shower, but I feel like I've had a shower. Um, I'm going to carry on showing you guys around. OK, so let's have a look around. Vicky Piria's helmet just there. We've got some timing screens and rehydration drinks and energy gels and as such in the back here. And the shower's just behind you, which are all empty, luckily, so that's good. And uh, then over here, we have the massage room. Oh, this is where they've been hiding the air conditioning. 
I might just have to stay here. Anyway, make sure you join us back tomorrow here in Mazzano for qualifying and the race.